when I start talking about AI buckets and I go, oh, if, if insurance had all those capabilities, imagine what we could do from the front office all the way to the back office. But there are some rules before you begin. You know, you can begin somewhere, you can begin anywhere. What I would always recommend is actually, you know, understanding your business. It may seem like a crazy question, but very often I've seen automation, data analytics, all sorts of programs ran in small pockets of the organization. And when someone comes at a later date to say, well, what value did you deliver? And that could be, as, as Ellen says, you know, is it customer experience? Is it employee experience? Is it turning the dial on cash? And quite often folks can't actually articulate the value of what they've been trying to do. As insurance companies, we have so much communication with our end customers. It's email, it's letters, lots and lots of customer correspondence. Great tools in the market. Uh, UiPath has one. Great tool about how to begin to understand what all of that communication is to begin to predict what the next piece of communication is that's going to come in from your customer and even to begin to get ahead of that communication by using some of these smart, intelligent tools out there so that some of the communication stops. The customer doesn't need to come back and ask the question because you've gotten ahead of it with these tools. I like to say at Forrester, and probably this is also the way that Holly and Kieran are thinking about it as well, is that, you know, you think about it from the perspective of, of objectives, strategy, people, and then the technology decision. Um, but, you know, another factor here, too, uh, is culture in, and, uh, you know, how you're going to actually uh, recruit people to help your technology decision be successful as well. Um, you know, we all kind of buy into this idea of culture and change management. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, basically in some of the research that Forrester does, uh, you know, uh, around picking a specific technology, you invariably hear about, you know, some of the hurdles that uh, organizations have with getting buy-in on the new, on the uh, use of the new system because it means something different in the way they've interacted um, and you know it, it creates um, at best skepticism and at worst cynicism moving forward so these are the things that I tend to say that you have to start with um, in one position you know in the process and you know get it right because it can you know cost us you know pretty dearly from a employee perspective and from a cost perspective in the long run So it is a combination of people, find the people, unlock the gridlock, and then bring the data. Once you bring the data, deploy, get a clear deployment mechanism, work with the partners, work with the, uh, uh, the customers to deploy it, and then seamlessly integrate with your end-to-end -end platform. If done right, you're talking about transforming an organization, and therefore, you know, Everything that comes with that skill set, product set, mindset, all those things come together. Therefore, you need a really great change management program to drive uh, and understand and push automation and digitization into a new business world.